row. Simeon and Stevenson, history coming up next. The following is a special presentation of the IHSA Television Network. Standing in the way of history tonight, the Stevenson Patriots and the super sophomores of Connor Cashaw and Jalen Brunson look to shoot down the title hopes for Simeon for a fourth straight season. In the meantime, the Wolverines look to stamp their own legacy. Kendall Pollard and the All-American Jabari Parker look to go out on top. Fourth straight title for Simeon. Can they match Peoria Emanuel? We'll find out next. And welcome to downtown Peoria, the River City, where we are once again back for America's original March Madness for the 17th year. 2013 history could be made. Well, Jalen Brunson is a player that really shined bright under the lights last night in the semifinal game. He was on another level. He showcased to the state why he's considered the best guard in Illinois, regardless of class. Now, for the Patriots to have a chance, he will need to duplicate last night's performance and add a little something extra for C Stevenson to get that first state championship trophy. So last time we're going to be able to say his name in a pregame, that's Jabari Parker. Well, we've all been fortunate to watch Jabari Parker mature from a young freshman into a battle-tested champion champion throughout his career and inside of this arena. He had a strong 20 point and 15 rebound game against Proviso East. And he'll need to duplicate that again for his team to be victorious. All right, here we go. Cameron's keys to success, first of all, for the Stevenson Patriots. Well, Stevenson has to start strong and finish strong. If they can one, Jalen Tate. And a guard for Simeon, a 6'2 senior, 20, Kendrick. None. And a guard for Stevenson, a 6'2 sophomore, 15, Jalen Brunson. And a forward for the Wolverines, a 6'8 senior, 22, Jabari Parker. Parker going up at half court. He'll go up against Cameron Green, who gets the start tonight for Stevenson. The lulls and, and try and sit in that zone to force Simeon to beat them from the outside as Parker with a pro move on that spin and little fade. That was a win over Proviso East, 68-56. And on the cross-court pass to Kendall Pollard, Simeon will take the lead. Floor, so they have to calm down a little and get in their sets. Brunson is fouled. Three free throws coming up for Jalen Brunson. Kendall Pollard, the culprit. And that's going to be a big blow for Robertson. If Kendall Pollard stays in this ball game, it's going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised. Coach Smith trusts his players. And they One more. This is a young man that can really hurt your defense if you give him a 56 percent they'll need every bit of that here tonight they did a tremendous job of stepping into their shots as we see parker working at struggling along one of six simeon picking up where they left off last night loose ball to pollard oh Hard. watch your head kendall pollard telling simeon let's go that will open up this game morris he can't get it parker the board what Flying high inside of Parva Arena. Silence the Stevenson crowd. Look at Jalen Tate, head up, heading to the University of Illinois next year. Finds Russell Woods, and Woods having the ability to catch the ball in the air and finish. Time it on Jalen Brunson. Kendall Pollard picked up two early fouls. Brunson rattles it in for three. Well, that's they bring their A games every night. Brunson, another step back. Oh, my goodness. That's smooth. That's smooth. And he looks back at Kendall Pollard after he knocked that shot. Morrissey quickly, corner, cash off, rolls it in for the top. Capability of taking over a game, for example, against North Chicago earlier in the year, basically about a month ago, he got a phone call the night before from one of his summer league teammates, Kirk Hall of North Chicago, gave him a hard time about playing each other for the North Suburban Chica uh, Conference title game. 
The next night, Jalen went out and put 30 on him and was able to do so with ease and from the outside. In the work, and they've turned themselves into tremendous basketball players. Of course, Sonny Parker, the father of Jabari, Rick Brunson, the dad of Jalen. That you close out on him. 16-15, looking for more. None answers with a three of his own. That's what Simeon has done. 15 points, six rebounds, four assists, a steal, and a block. And as we see him get into the paint again in terms of body types. Brunson gets a man in the air. And the shiftiness of Jalen Brunson does a great job of drawing fouls on the defense and knows all now on Kendall Nunn. Kendrick Nunn rather he makes him sit. Kendrick Nunn, you lose some scoring power when he's on the bench. A young man that really stretches the defense like this young man right here, Jabari Martin, McDonald's All-American. Pureness on that jump shot. Rebound to Pollard off to Mr. Brunson. Tate, oh, the rifle pass to Ingram. Talk about a bullet pass from Jalen Tate. This is a young man that has taken over the on the court. And Dante Ingram getting the pass and finishing the play. Look at that one-hand bullet pass, the speed on it almost. Well, it never gets old to us, but our fans are a little spoiled right now. So, uh, I mean, just with all everything that people will be writing about the history and how much we've you know, done at this point, you know, it'll be great for CPS. You know, it'd be great for Simeon. It'd be great, you know, for, for us to show our showcase our talent that we have, you know, and, and then give us something else to build on for the following year. He's a young man that has been chronicled since his eighth. What are you gonna do your sophomore year? Well, he wins another state championship. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do your junior year? He wins another state championship. So people are expecting this young man to finish to pull that basketball back out. And, Stevenson trying to load up on Jabari in that painted area, but it's unsuccessful. Not going to match that, 11, first half, 21, 21. And Dave, we have not heard from Jalen Brunson so far. Well, he must have heard me. <laughs> Jalen says, camera room. Not at all. Stevenson shot 30% from the three-point arc, but I'm sure they'll do a better job as we get a look at Kendrick Nunn cashing out from the three-point line. 6'8", All-American player of the year. Hard to defend that. Here's Brunson again. Comes right back and answers. So Brunson and Parker have stepped up for their teams offensively, but it's about the supporting cast. Who can step up for these two teams in the second half? He needs to get it done on the defensive end and help Cameron Green out because he's struggling against Jabari Parker. Parker will an opportunity finish Wolverines. That's point number 22 inside of the painted area for the Wolverines. Parker at the free throw line, of course, played as a freshman. The late Bob Hambrick did not believe in that. He just didn't feel like freshmen should be playing. You, you think Robert Smith. And also Derrick Rose. <laughs> Free throw line by the activity on the offensive glass. It's a young man who was in early foul trouble. In the Contact between Cashaw and defensively playing defense on a string, and that's what all head coaches want their players to do. You want to help your teammate out. First point of the quarter from Cashaw. And another. That's worked to the advantage of Simeon all year long. Here comes none. Kendrick, we've seen in Illinois in a long time. You'll continue to see them at Illinois doing that. Lying high, the future fighting Illini getting up high. Kendrick Nunn on 16. Cash on the bucket. Nice pull up from the sophomore Connor Cash on that play. Those two free throws that he knocked. Marines. Woods hesitated for a moment, didn't know what Parker was going to do on the baseline. Jabari, a 16th point of the night. He just covers. Sec. Well, it's very interesting about that moment you just described is that was the most memorable moment for head coach Robert Smith. To this arena. Oh, they're, they're wearing all black, Cameron. You couldn't see them come in. There's Parker. He just, for Cash Hall, he came in averaging 16.2 per game, 13 last night in the semifinal win over Edwardsville. He's had a tough go at it tonight. Player, so Simeon more disciplined and Woods again inside the paint. They are just dominating Stevenson. Be a part of history. Who doesn't want to be a part of history, especially Pop? Jabari just continues his assault on the Stevenson Patriots with the and one. 
He's played a great basketball game. As we get a look at the replay, rolling off of that ball screen. Look at the catch over the head of Andy Snipple and still getting his feet set. Nichols' first substitution of the night for Stevenson. Stemple will knock down the three. He's going to bring in Jalen Tate and Kendrick Nunn, the seniors. Give them their final minutes on the floor here. We are witnessing some great players walk off the court for the Simeon Wolverines, more specifically Jabari Parker, the most decorated high school basketball player that this state has ever seen. Taking his brother under his wing and really schooled him on how to handle himself on and off the court. State title. And he made it look so easy, Dave. A, a, a state title is not a Thanksgiving tournament title. It's not a Christmas tournament title. This is a state title. You're talking about your team being the best team in the state of Illinois for the past four years. Jalen Tate is going to come out of the game. And that ends up in the hands of Matt Flasher. And it will be Simeon history in Peoria. Congratulations to the Simeon Wolverines, their fourth straight IHSA boys basketball title. An easy season for you, a lot of pressure on you, year in and year out, all the accolades, all the recruiting buzz with you. Are you happy that you got to this point where you finally get that state championship, you can close the book on this career? I just thank God, you know, my number one focus was getting back with the team after my injury. And, uh, you know, all the praise goes to him and my team, you know, Coach Rob and his, his coaching staff, everybody. You know, they, it's a collective effort, and then we showed it out here for the rest of the state tourney. You know the legacy with Ben Wilson and Derrick Rose, and now you're on that list, and you've been on that list, but you get four. They didn't get four. That's got to be something you're very proud of. Yeah, but without my teammates, I had a great team. Without my coaching staff, I had the best coach in high school basketball, period, and I couldn't do it without them.